Admiral's Log, August 2nd, 1931 I don't understand the Italians. They keep fighting us. There's clearly no hope for them. Their sad little economy is in ruins and the once proud Regia Marina has been sent to the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. All that remains is 11 ships. I have a growing suspicion that something else is happening here. The Austro-Hungarian Empire is up to some dark deeds. What if they are pressuring the Italians to keep fighting us at the penalty of a full-out invasion? That would cause the Italians to keep throwing everything at us, even in the face of certain defeat. The question then becomes, when are their Austro-Hungarian puppeteers satisfied? When will they cut the Italians loose? When the Italian economy will be fully diminished? When the Italian Empire collapses, much like the French did? Or is it when the Austro-Hungarian Empire itself is strong enough to take us on themselves? I suspect it's the latter. We found an ever larger amount of Austro-Hungarian fishing boats close to our encounters with the Italians. These fishing boats might not all that they seem. They might be fishing for something different entirely. Information. If they are taking notes on how our navy performs and how our ships are designed, then the Austro-Hungarians can come up with the perfect counters to our designs. I haven't yet fallen so low that I've ordered our ships to fire on Austro-Hungarian fishing boats on sight, but it's a situation of growing concern. Perhaps we'll have to do some boarding operations with our ships to see if these Austro-Hungarian fishing vessels are really all that they make themselves out to be. Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back for episode 25. We are on the German campaigns, we're operating in the middle, well, not the middle sea, the Mediterranean. Uh, the Dutch call this the uh, the Middellandse Zee, because it's between all sorts of countries, so middle lands, as in in the middle of several lands, sea. Anyway, um, a bit of a distraction there. I'm still finding the Italians, and the Italians only have 11 ships left. We're going to make that a few less as they have two battleships, two, no, sorry, yeah, two cruisers, one heavy, one light. This is, mm, yeah, this is one of the speedboats-ish. 36 and a half knots. I have my destroyers, which can intercept that, sort of. Um, no. No, I need better ships. I need faster ships. At any rate, I got both Hessen and Mecklenburg there with their 16.9ers. They should make very short work of these... Puny 11.4 inch pea shooters that the Italians have. Um, I suspect that the Italians have either upgraded these ships at some point or that the technology has advanced or maybe a patch has changed it because their displacement is about five, sorry, 4,000 tons less than what they could. And the same can be said for my heavy battleships, the Otto class. Interesting. That means we potentially have. Um, some window for further upgrades to these ships. Now we are here, we're all gathered here today to engage our six transports. That's the real target. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find those. See, these DDs are going to be capped at 33 knots, lest I take the V11 off of that and have it go off on a different direction all by itself. Mecklenburg and Hessen have radar. I suspect the enemy is like 30 clicks out. Yeah, here-ish. Ping. There. 36. Okay, that's our target. That's our destination. Let's go full hat flank and engage the enemy. Here we go. Mecklenburg is the first one, interestingly, to spot the enemy. Now, to be fair, Mecklenburg has a radar system... The V11 does not. She's relying on a fairly old destroyer design. And these things have proven very, very useful before. Right now, they're showing their age. In the sense that they only have those five single 5.9ers and no radar. These destroyers are superseded by, I think, the 16 and 17 class. So, if possible, I can refit them. Or I could replace them. It's just that I haven't gotten around to it with the V11 yet. And, aside from that, they can still be very useful when dealing with enemy convoys. 
So that's the plan. Have those guys get to the convoy. Well, this single destroyer. That means we're going to give these battleships a fairly wide berth while we're cruising at maximum speed. And the battleship Mecklenburg and Hessen are opening up. Uh, Limburg is by far one of the slowest ships on this group. Only 25 knots. And yet, that does not make her irrelevant. It just makes her slow. Because she's already in range with her 11.9ers. And keep in mind, the Italians are sporting 11.4 inch guns. That means the Italians have relatively smaller guns than a, a heavy cruiser on my part. So, yeah. It's going to be probably a pretty one-sided fight. The 8.9ers are going off. I'm not very pleasantly surprised at the rate at which my crew is gaining veterancy. I would love for these guys to already be veteran. So that they're going to be even more effective. Comets. Comets one of those guns and midships class of heavy cruisers. And what we got there, that's the lights. Drifting. Look at that turning circle. That's extremely impressive. Ah, very nice. We're getting some overpens on the main tower. Which seemingly is causing relatively low amounts of damage. Surprisingly, actually. This is your heavy cruiser. Where's your convoy at? Ah, there. Okay. Is this guy... No, he's just doing a circle. I thought he was going to intercept the V11, but I kind of doubt the AI is that smart. I don't want to give him too much credit. Now, has the Limburg hit anything yet? No, she has not. Now, this is very much going to be the fight of the Mecklenburg. Her sister ship, Hessen. I love the look of these guys. It's very Bismarck-esque. But arguably, they're better than the Bismarck. They're bigger. More firepower. Um, potentially a better tra trained crew, but I'm not sure I can really really say that. And of course my secondaries are 8.9s as well as 4.9s. 40% chance to hit with a, no, I think a fairly respectable chance to pen as well. Because these guys are firing standard AP shells. Yeah, no, that was a partial. You guys have so much armor. That's interesting. Yeah, there they are. Now, I'm not strictly planning on it, but considering the fact that I have been hammering the Italians, and now they are also at war with the British, leads me to think that perhaps by the end of the episode there will not be an Italian Empire. They'll just be gone. Stay alive. This is not part of it need you to sneak past this battleship is having a rough time that was the torpedo from the V11 switch fire this battleship is really not that much of a threat at the moment and this guy is wide open to attack hello hello you, sir, are the target. You're the target. I'm thinking of investing some more research points or uh, research priority into making sure I get better battle cruisers. Because I need better battle cruiser hulls. I know I can turn one of these large battleship hulls into a battle cruiser. At least if you just pick smaller armaments. But it's not the same type of hull, and the game thus treats it different. Meaning that your ship is not going to be able to get up to 40, 45 knots. So that is something that I would like to see on my battle cruisers. Just high speed, ability to intercept, uh, especially get these light cruisers very quickly. And I'm not sure what the Italians, uh, sorry, what the Austro-Hungarians have and what the British have built by now. But I'm fairly concerned that it's going to be something big and oh bad. Sorry, those are outbound. Oh, je holy fuck, are you insane? Normal. That's not normal. Oh my god. 
Which fucker did that? XO, V14, relieve the captain of his command and shoot him. He just launched a torpedo into a friendly, causing the loss of 13 crew members aboard the Mecklenburg, as well as serious damage to the ship. I cannot have commanders like that. I cannot have people in command of my destroyers like that. I think it takes a special kind of captain to be a destroyer captain. You gotta be aggressive, you gotta be willing to take risks. This was not a, a, an acceptable risk. This was just a fragrant, what you call that, flagrant disrespect for the rules. Shoot him. Yeah, San Marco is going to be dosed. We're starting to eliminate the transports. I need to get six transport kills before I wipe out the whole fleet here. Well, fleet escorts. San Marco Grande is not going to be very grande soon. I'm quite happy that the Pietro Mica is maintaining her distance because I'm really not interested in having my battleships dodge torpedoes. Seeing that they're not very good at that. There goes one transport. No, 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 no. Here. San Marco is down. Shit, this guy launched a torpedo at me. Uh oh. Oh. They haven't really been keeping up with their torpedo tech because it just exploded on the way to my target. Well, its target. This is why I personally don't use torpedoes because they're god awful. And yes, you can improve them, sure. Yes, you might be able to break up the occasional formation. Yet. If given to the AI, they will torp your own ship. That's something I'm not terribly happy about. Maintain distance from this murderous light cruiser, please. I need all the smaller guns on the Pietro. That goes for the Comet too. Yeah, see? This little shit is throwing torpedoes at the Mecklenburg. Plot armor is turning that torpedo around. That's good. You doing? Okay, you've taken down two transports. Four more to go. Now, this battleship's going to be probably flooding out. The question is, how long are these going to be... What? How long are these going to be surviving? I have zero chance to pen. With a 16.9 inch gun? How far away are you? Four kilometers. At foot. Okay. At four kilometers. I'm assuming it's going to be a flat arc. A flat trajectory to the target. So not a, a lobbing shell. I have an 892 meter per shell second. Or 892 meter per second AP shell. Which, at less than 4,000 meter, can pen 73 inches of armor. And probably, considering we're at 4,000 meter range, something in the vicinity of 76, 77 inches. This cruiser is impenetrable? How? Yes, she has a lot of armor. She has 7 inches of superstructure armor, which is insane. My battleships don't have that. But even with 117% bonus, that's what, 15 inches? Being generous. Their main belt is about 22 plus 117. So let's say 25 if we're generous. How can you pen... Sorry, how can you not be penned? With 73 inches of armor. 77, 77 inches of armor. See, this is the kind of bullshit that I want to know. And... Based on the amount of questions from the Q&A, um, which I have sent in, by the way, to the devs, so now we wait until the response. This is the level of bullshit that I need to understand. Shit. Sorry about that. That was my Facebook. I should have closed that before starting recording. Anyway, this... How? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Come on. See, I can pen the battleship, right? 
I can pen the battleship, but this heavy cruiser? Fucking impenetrable. And this thing has 17 inches, 6.4, sorry, 6.94, 6.5 aft, 130% quality. And the battleship goes, yeah. We're gonna pen that. This guy? Oh, hell no. Must be some tank. Some extreme tank. Why are you shooting the CA? Shoot the BB. Sorry, that was just a little aside. Okay, could you hurry up? Shoot him. Oh, you lost a gun. And I got four turrets now. Alright. Now, let's keep an eye on these battleships, and most notably their light cruiser. Because I'm kind of suspicious of it. Okay, shoot this with the main guns. Hessen. See? I can pen that. Hold. 8.9. Four belt pen. Even the 4.9ers can do parcel pens. And, yeah. Yeah, this just makes no sense. I think the tooltip is entirely wrong. Boom! That was another 8.9. Bullshit. You guys are a bit too far afield. But whatever. Let's just finish this. Done. Okay, mission accomplished. That means we can now get rid of all the survivors. I'm thinking the commander, uh, commanding officer of the Pietro Mika is a bit more concerned about torpedoing a friendly. Yet, when the Immaculata, uh, Immaculata sinks, she might not be so concerned, this light cruiser. She's probably going to start launching torps, and she just did. At Hessen. Okay, Hessen, you're going to turn the other way then, my friend. Finish them. 27% chance to hit. Very nice. Hello. I didn't send a whole slew of torpedoes yet. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> That's the difference in speed. Boom. Good kill shot. Okay. <laughs> Blowing up the ammo for his friendly is a bit harsh. Okay, so that was 10,000 victory points. Thank you very much. Uh, that's six transports dead. The economy is already hurting on the Italian side. I think this is not going to do them any favors. Italian, 56 billion still. 166 billion for me, 268 billion for the uh, British. And 230 billion. Look at that growth. I'm concerned about the Austro-Hungarians. Anyway. Um, they got seven ships. Two battlecruisers, a CA, a CL, and three DDs. That's it. Okay, let's prioritize cruiser design. Because supposedly here I can find better battlecruisers. And we got battle advanced cruisers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... We already have this, I think. Battlecruiser 5. Because we've just been researching stuff like this. Heavy cruiser hulls. So yeah, we need better uh, battlecruisers. I'm up 23 million a month. I'm keeping that. I just want to make sure that I have enough. Um, if I put these on... Invade... Operating at distant waters where your own transports are not likely to be found. Yeah, okay, go. And these guys too. Invade. Alright, moving on. There's another meeting, really, with the Italians. Has to be. Oh, I'm blockading them. Okay. The press in various countries is fully supporting a war effort. The French? The French are dead. Long live the French. Oh. <laughs> this guy <laughs> is either very brave or suicidal. <laughs> He's going up against something that's about 80 times his size. 
Okay. Um, sure. No, let's do it. Oh, man. The thing is, the Glossy Curfers needs to hit once, but it's going to be a challenge to hit with these 17.9ers against the DD. Sea State. Terrible. Oh, no. Okay, fine. This is going to be funny. 26. You're one of the newer boats. You got the six 5.9ers. I think you're going to be far more valuable in this effort. You got RDF. I need to refit you guys to have radar. Oh, but this battleship, I mean, Grosse Kurfürst is a powerhouse of ship. And very well suited to dealing with battleships. Dealing with the destroyer, she got the eights, she has the fours. She can definitely throw up a hail of shells. But those 17.9ers? Well, <laughs> I kind of doubt we're actually going to see any effect from those in this particular encounter. That is, if we can even catch the target. You there with the radar, right? Where? Give me a ping. Just a general direction. Okay. I think this guy might be uncatchable. The Italian ships are generally very fast. There. 50 kilometers out. Okay. The Italian proved to be far too fast. Uh, yeah, they can do 37 knots. My fastest ship could do 35. My battleship could do only 27. This is fine. We're going to let this guy live. Or at least that's my backstory. Really brave of him to try and at least make an appearance there. Ah, oh, they've, they've lost even more transports. 39 billion only. Good God. The towns are getting ripped apart. Okay. Mm. I hope this is going to go quickly, because I would really like another battlecruiser. 55%. I wonder what percent you're going to be able to see what the next tech is. Oh, this is not a good matchup for you, gentlemen. We have the Fritjof, Preussen, Friedrich der Grosse, Saxon, a couple of heavy cruisers, about, yeah. Well, we're going to have to eliminate the rest of the Italian Navy at some point. It might as well be now. A little while later, the Italian battlecruiser has been detected and the entire fleet opens up, including the refit Fritjof. 17.9ers, much like the Kurfürst, and a Generation 1 radar. A seasoned crew... Having been experienced a bit more in battle, hopefully we'll be able to deliver these 17.9ers on target. Yet, Saxon with her 15-inch Mark III's already getting better accuracy. Oh, actually, 4.1, 7.1. Reload has been pushed down. Wow, to a mere 125 seconds? That's a big difference. Now, of course, we will not be detected for probably quite some time because these Italians are I think tech wise a bit behind lest they upgrade these things ah parcel pen that was a heavy cruiser shot just smoke up the div the gazelle and the berlin have taken some damage Nothing too terrible ah they're returning fire that was a 16.9er. That was one from the battleship Preussen. Which has taken some damage. Hmm. Reach off, go start, go, sorry, go broadside, go port. If I'm not mistaken, this is the last of their capital ships. There, that was a partial, that was a partial pen for 600. And then a main tower pen. Yeah, this guy is almost immediately wiped out. And again, we got, what, like eight times their number? More, even? They're turning away. Probably a good call. CAs? CAs are on screening duty-ish. Not sure who they're screening, though. Oh, and now they're getting too close together. Oh, you poor thing. Extensive fires would kill one battlecruiser. 
Now we just need to build a firing solution on this target. Yet, if we shoot this much, it's probably going to be over very soon. I'm waiting for one of those big hits to come in. Send the BCs forward. Saxton and the Grosse. Ah, that's the salvo from Fritjof. Missed. Fritjof has done 1.2k, it's not terrible. Yet I think that the whole big guns strategy is starting to yield some diminishing returns. I am going to stick to it for roleplay purposes. I want to have the biggest guns in the world, which is going to be the 20.9 inch gun. Yet, for battle effectiveness, I think you're going to find that in this case a 15.9er is more than enough. A 16.9er doing 5.5k, this did, did 1600. It just fires too slowly. You're putting too much of your eggs in one basket, if you will. Because if it hits, it delivers a fuck ton of damage. If it misses, you're going to be sitting there reloading for the next two minutes. Whereas Preussen reloads in 87 seconds. So that saves you a good 40 seconds. Meaning you can get one and a half salvos out before Fritjof fires uh, again. Yeah. Look at that. They've done 11 hits. Just zero damage. And the 464 crew is nonsense, because they didn't hit me, so they didn't cause me any crew either. Go on. You want to burn down? You want to go surrender? What's the plan here? Stadia. Come on. What's the plan? I think you're going to lose your structural integrity. Done. Oof. That was a good hit. Hmm. Let's see what the Fritjof eventually performed. Preussen, Fritjof, 2.3. Preussen, 6.1, that's double. And keep in mind that this thing costs 200 million. Fritjof costs 250 million, so they're cheaper and they do about twice the damage. Alright, so that was the last of their capital ships. I'm blockading them. What else... Oh, bloody hell, really? They got seven ships. Four of those are here. Fine. Fine. What else do the Italians need to completely disintegrate, I wonder? And second question, considering their economy state, I think they're not really going to be in a position to really give me anything by the time that the war ends. Because there, there's nothing left. Why is there a destroyer mixed in with a light cruiser? Go. What do we have? Battleship, battle cruiser, three, seven heavies. Okay. Then again, they have what? One heavy cruiser, a light, and some DDs. This is going to be over very, very quickly. Here we go. 16.9ers on target ish. That, yeah, it's another one of those heavy cruiser tanks. So officially, we might not even be able, we might not even be able to pen them. Oh well, we'll just see how well we can or cannot pen them. Uh, you guys, at least stick with the fleet, please. This is one of their older light cruisers. It's the one with the side-mounted torpedo launchers. Not terribly dangerous. I mean, it does okay. Maybe 10 years ago. Right now, it's just flat out outdated. Lutso, you're getting far too aggressive. There's really no need to go this close to the enemy. What kind of last are you? Oh, you're, um... Hansa class? I'm really not that good at remembering the ship class names. Yeah, the Bavaria is one of their newer classes with the 11.9ers. Bow in, that is. It's getting a bit too close here. 
I got diff four. Okay. I won't kill the destroyer. Because this will kill us with its torpedoes. And this will too. See? DDs. Holy shit. Okay. Everybody commence panic mode. That's a lot of torpedoes to dodge. I really don't think I'm going to be able to do that manually. What are you shooting? Why the fuck are you shooting a DD? You got 15 inch guns. Don't be silly. Shoot a heavy cruiser. This one's suicided. Hip bar. Don't be a doofus. Turn. Lutzo should be able to dodge that. Before you comment, yes, I know, I know. I'm taking way too much risk here. Far more than I actually should. It's just that I want to get these battles over with as quickly as possible. So I can focus on more important things. More interesting things. Let's see, this line is clear. Lutzo dodged. Friedrich Karl is doing her level best to get into a torpedo. Well played. E22 is also doing her level best to get into a torpedo. What? Lutzo did get a torped. Crap. Oh, there's two more. 19, you might want to change. Now would be a great time to use... No. <laughs> Full port rudder is what I was going to say. Bavaria, what are you shooting? Granicieri. No, we're going to shoot the Simone Schiaffino. Sorry, Schiaffino. Have you guys finished with the battle... Cru uh, battle... No, heavy cruiser. There. Battleship there. DD line over there. Let's go. That's more like it. Another reloading. The only ship that I might still have issues with is the Aratusa. Since she's capable of launching those side mounts out to the range where the Mars is. That's great shot. That's great shot. Okay. Dead. Where did it all go wrong for the Italians? I mean, me sending in these massive ships is definitely not helpful. Yet I'm not the first to be engaging them. There was some unrest in the Mediterranean before I happened to appear. Maybe they made some poor choices when it comes to upgrading tech. Maybe they made some poor choices respecting to the amount of ships, or the type of ships, or the design of the ships. I'm not sure. They lost 10 transports? Okay. Research? One month. Wow, that sped up the thing. No, it's a 19,000 ton heavy cruiser. Gives me the Advanced Armored Cruiser 2. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but okay. Look, they got three DDs left. What are we still fighting over? What? By the way, why am I the only one who's actually engaging the Italians? I thought the British were fighting them too. Power projection for the, <laughs> for the Italians is 169 versus 32k. Okay, uh, the Red Cross urges the Italian Empire and your nation to accept... The exchange of prisoners. They took prisoners? I sure as hell didn't take prisoners. The government asks for your opinion on this matter and agree to exchange. <laughs> no. We do not negotiate with our enemy. Plus one unrest. Oh. Really? Snap out of it. 
What do you expect to happen with one upgraded destroyer? You have no business being here. So that went about as well as you could expect. The game did give the Italians 576 victory points because I haven't replenished my crews yet. But it's really not that fair because they did, I think, four points of damage. They dealt two points of damage, that's it. So yeah, that was one destroyer. Um, I want to see if I can completely murder the Italian Navy. Regia Marina. It lost two transports. It means their economy's no, not that bad. Oh, there's one more. You can do 32, I can do 31. Hmm. I should be able to catch this guy. Let's see. Interestingly, this Italian destroyer is not running away. She's running towards the V-16. She's going to be met with two uh, double-barrel 5.9-inch turrets. So we have the firepower. We just don't really have the torpedoes, because I only have one. Yeah, I got the one launcher there. I have detected them. They haven't detected me. Chance to hit's already 12%. percent i going to slow down. Because these Italians have... A fairly hefty torpedo armament. Look at that. That's what, 15 torps? No. It's worse. Those are fours. So what? You s yeah, he's going to send potentially 20 torpedoes my way. All in one massive burst. When he's done that, he has one double barrel 5.3 incher and three single 2 inchers left. He spotted me. I have Hydro 3, <laughs> and I set my single torpedo boat. That's amusing. Go on. Detected torpedoes. Yep. That's a nice bouquet you got there. <sighs> Did that destroy the bow torpedo? No way. Oh, I'm almost gonna hit him. Uh, yeah, that destroyed the bow launcher. That gun, I don't think, is very well positioned. I mean, look at the height of that thing. That's in front of the bridge. The bridge can't see anything. I understand that they wanted a launcher on the bow. I get it. Just, this is probably not the best way to go about it. Dead. Nice. Okay, so we need one more destroyer kill, and we're done with the Italians. I don't think I've ever completely destroyed a navy. I wonder what happens then. What happens then? They got one destroyer. What? Oh, they built a couple of lights. Yes, yes. I'll take your peace treaty. Do we need to murder your destroyer before we get to peace? Because if so, I will do it. Here we go. He's very close, this Italian. Giving me a bit of cause for concern. I don't have as much firepower as compared to the last battle. But I do have the OG Destroyer. The V-1. The first one I've ever built. It's the single 5.9 inches, Which are taking your sweet time to get to the target. And this is a different Italian design. This is armed with 6 4.4s and 6 1.8s. So, considering the amount of guns, they definitely have me outgunned. And they have 1, 2, 3 torpedo launchers. I have bigger guns. They're just taking their sweet time getting to the target. If I can maintain my position in front of him, I don't think he's going to be able to launch his torpedoes. There you go. That's cute. And I should be able to wipe him off the face of the... Well, not the face of the earth, maybe the face of the ocean? Pretty quick. Conning tower damaged. I'm gonna angle a little more. Bringing more bow guns to bear. Partial pen. Antonio Mosto. 9.9 .9 million boat. Gear turbines. Natural boilers? You can do 37 knots with natural boilers. Really? 
That's interesting. Oh, go away. Some damage to the V1, but yeah. She might be old. She's not harmless. She's not harmless. There we go. Okay. So then I now have two light cruisers that they recently built. That's all they have left. Does that mean we're at peace? Whoa. 37 million. Billion. Go on. Are we at peace? Yeah, no. I am the Chancellor. Why are we not at peace? Three CLs. They're building ships with what budget? What the fuck? They're building 26 ships? Okay. Also, other question. Where are the British? The British are at war with the Italians. Yet all their maneuvers are happening in or around the North Sea. They're not actually sending ships to Italy where they have some beef. This makes very little sense. All right, let's push this battle group out. <laughs> Port capacity is a little over. Go. Gibraltar, go. Right, well, I guess this is going to continue in the next episode. Um, interestingly, I have advanced, apparently, technology advanced, as opposed to normal, I think it was, or standard. So we are slowly but steadily advancing, and I am looking forward to getting better battle cruisers, but it looks like that's going to take me a while longer. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon for the next 